the Prodigy on the rise from Wi-Fi did hit like a bit of a dip, but still making a comeback. Still strong nonetheless. And Sharp playing Joker in doubles. Strong doubles character. Arsene is still able to put in work, take care of his stocks. And we did see the Wario, as you said before, here. Yeah, the Wario is still there, and the Wario in, the, in and of themselves, an amazing doubles character, not as restrictive as any of the FGC, especially Kazuya yeah. with their rather limited movement, as WoW Don tried to change all of that, and Sharp is already gone from that immediate up smash follow. Yeah, that's, no. I feel like that's what you're going to be seeing so much from uh, both a green team, just how often can we push up smashes out and get these stops off early, whether it be Fox's insane one or Mario's equally as ridiculous, just not going to kill us early. Yeah, no, I agree. Oh my god, just up here and just waiting for you to jump call off, but Sharp just stayed grounded. And we saw quick the Arsene came out. Arsene meter does build if your opponent, if your teammate does get hit, by the way. So you don't have to be the only one getting messed up right now. But it looks like that was Axiom coming in clutch to save their teammate from a double ledge, uh, edge trap in with the Warrior forward tilt, taking the stock off of light. And while Don is still sitting at a very pretty 52%, the stocks are relatively even, and Wario can get real crazy real quick. Yeah, and no, Light did, does have a problem. It is known with Wario, so you don't want to kind of leave him alone with this character. Yeah, Wario can be quite frustrating given their prominent out-of-shield options, and especially with how many times Axiom has found these important parries. And you can't always rely on Fox's speed when half the stage is cut off, though Don overextending just a little bit, and Arsene's back air will close out the stop. Oh, double so. Light with the immediate back air in response to their teammate dying, and then up smashes Axiom to close out and cement their three stop lead. Their yeah. one stop lead. Yeah, one stop lead, two st Oh, and we're seeing a lot of counters from Sharp right here. Have to be very careful with them, though. The waft is online, so they may be able to find something cheeky. There, back to stage. Gonna look for the back air. Great fireball from Don to get back. Oh, using the grab armor, the throw armor, to get past the net landing there from Light. But yeah, you see how quick this Arsen meter builds and how quick it goes. Yeah, there's just no fear from Green Team. Like, Wario has waft, Joker has Arsen. But we got buttons, and we're yeah. swinging as that up smash yet again comes in. If you're able to pull the trigger on up smash reliably, then Fox just gets so much scary. And Light, one of the best to do it. That cross up fair was clean, by the way. Yeah, no, it, it fooled me. All right, jab combo to get him off. Shield. He's just holding shield there, waiting. That yeah. was incredibly threatening. But it looks like Sharp is trying to do a good job of maintaining center now. Gets the Tetracarn, and that will do it for Don's next stop with Lights at 157, not far behind. Yeah, at this moment, you kind of want to start beating up Don. Because if he gets high percent and while Light goes down to his last stock, you can just start um, focus on him a lot more. And he has to play more passive. Going to be easier said than done, given how uh, Don was playing super well with some of these lingering uh, rising aerials. Double up smashes. That shield is looking mighty low. Yeah, I do like the idea of going to light from Sharp. Oh, yeah, you can't just do that on the shield. And light is prepared. You, Don wasn't even the one to do that on the shield of option. Yeah, Don got a crab, and that was going... That's curtains. Yeah, any grab is death at those high percents. Why are you going for, these, uh, going for the neutrals as a means of a trap? I'm amazing that Axiom was able to get through that with the ledge hop double jump Nair. Yeah. But again, a grab sealed the deal. Right. And what sucks is Axiom did not release a single waff that oh, entire yeah. game. So the thing with Wario is like you gotta use the waff and make it a threat. Like you can't hold on to it for too long because after it's like what's the use? I, if you're not able to, to set up into it, and it really feels like the best way that these that blue team wanted to set up into it was off of a starter from Joker first. Yeah. But Axiom, while well, they did a great job of trying to play cleanup a couple times with things like Wario's uh, pivot forward tilt, they were never able to establish themselves on stage, and that in and of itself cut down a lot of the offense that both of them were able to reliably put on, despite some of the reversals they found. Man, I love that. Yeah, that's that like, wild. <laughs> 
Just no hesitation. All right, and we're coming back into a PS2 again, and now we are seeing the wolf. Yeah, I, I feel like we're never going to see the same character from Sharp like, more than twice over. Yeah. He's rotating. <laughs> he's, it feels like he's in a, the ultimate character crisis, but he's trying to main three characters. Yeah, yeah he's trying to main like seven. <laughs> yeah, to be honest. <laughs> All right. I like the switch to Wolf, though, just to, to, to linger on it just a little bit. Yeah. Wolf has a lot more ability in scrambles. You have the means of breaking combos reliably without having to go to ledge, which yeah. was very punishing in game one. Yeah. And a constant, like, strong option with Nair. Like, I know with Joker, they once they get Arsene, they're able to get the combo effective, but Wolf just constantly has, like, good options. And it doesn't need to, like, have, a, like, a level up, quote-unquote, right. for them to like be a good great character Ooh, but that is gonna be it uh, that's gonna be axiom losing their first stock but axiom almost finding twice over don just managing to survive and the dash attack two frame doesn't find it yeah this game is it's almost it's definitely a lot slower and for sure a lot more even as that back air gives sharp a, a stock on to don and what feels like blue team's first lead of the night yeah no definitely is it, this, this is the most control they've been in this entire like set so far, and that's good. It shows that the counter pick is working. We're viable out here. We're thriving, and this, this still is best of three territory, I believe. So yes, it is. The switch had to have been important for it had to have been one that would have worked, and the wolf into wolf into this box. Yeah, you're feeling pretty good about yeah. that one. No, you're definitely fooling yourself. At this point, I'll, I'll think I'm nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even the crowd oh. thinks he's nice. Do you hear those woos in from the game come out? You know that you're feeling pretty solid about this wolf, and you're forcing Fox and you're forcing Light to go for some of these uh, ledge guarding options that Fox has, but aren't the strength of his character. Yeah. And the more you delve into that realm of play, and the more you delve into like, hey, you have to uncork some options that you might not be ready to go for then you're feeling that much better about it all as another yeah. down smash doesn't connect. Yeah, and I love that laser sharp throughout because it caught the jump of light and light was jumping there as a habit and sharp just called it out. Wasn't able to close out the stock, but still tagged on a lot of percent as you see light at 86 on his last stock. Oh, that up air didn't do it onto the Wario Axiom, still surviving. Gonna need something crazy and that back air won't kill quite yet. There's a couple of uh, almost fine, uh, a couple of almost finishers, though the edge guard will do it, as Don is just doing an amazing job of doing a uh, playing cleanup. As the stocks are even, the light is already at death's door. Yeah. And it's crazy how he's at like 86 and we're saying that. Still yeah. shows how light Fox is as a character. Especially given the ridiculous amount of kill power on deck for Bo for blue team. Wario again having that waft on deck, maybe not even needing it. Oh, both of them are getting comboed. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I didn't know you knew. <laughs> what does Edgar do it? Okay. It's, uh, Axiom just letting him back on. Don, without a jump, has to go to ledge. Oh, and the pressure from Axiom in the corner. He's able to get up. And Blue Team just ra racked up. Got percent racked up so quick on them. Yeah, already 101. Don has just been... Fantastic at holding center and the twi the switch and the twitch, the jab lock off of immediately after the back air. What is so good about Green Team is how they're able to pivot back and forth between each other because they separated and joined. <laughs> Friendship moment. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> da -da -da. It's like a freeze frame at a sitcom. Yeah. Friendship! Let's go. He can't even keep his shirt on. Friends. <laughs> Together forever. <laughs> this is what we love to see. This is what doubles is all about. <laughs> yeah. Just like it is with some of these great games. Like um, this this game too was super tight and yeah. the fact that green team was able to the fact that green team was able to buckle down 
and that Don was able to consistently find edge guards uh, and consistently find stocks off of small mistakes was huge. Yeah, and I'm also going to give kudos to Light too for finding these conversions out of like nowhere. And the jab lock at the end, great awareness for Don. Like, I know a lot of people that do mess up in that situation, that job lock, but he is aware. Yeah, and just great job on, on both right, of that's them. A, that's the last compliment I'm giving Don, because he's smiling at me, like, loving this. <laughs> clean, clean stuff from both players. Yeah. The survivability on light, the uh, presence of mind from both the green team. I mean, they're in winner's finals uh, for a reason, and you're not going to want to miss that, just like you're not going to want to miss any of the productions provided by House of Free 